Welcome curious explorers to a mesmerizing journey through time as we uncover the wonders of the ancient world. In this captivating video, we'll embark on an adventure to discover the stories and architectural marvels behind the seven wonders of the ancient world. From the iconic Great Pyramid of Giza to the magnificent Hanging Gardens of Babylon, each wonder has its own captivating tale. Join us as we delve into the mysteries and legends that surround these ancient marvels. Our journey begins in Egypt, where we encounter the awe-inspiring Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the most iconic structures in the world. Built as a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu, over 4,500 years ago. This wonder stands as a testament to the engineering prowess of the ancient Egyptians. As we approach the pyramid, we can't help but be struck by its massive size and imposing presence against the desert backdrop. The Great Pyramid was constructed with astonishing precision and attention to detail. It consists of approximately 2.3 million limestone blocks each weighing an average of 2.5 tons. The blocks were quarried and transported from nearby locations with remarkable skill. The theory surrounding the construction methods used, from the use of ramps to theories involving advanced ancient technology, need intensive study. As we step inside, the complex interior design contains chambers, passageways, and the grand burial chamber, the intricate network of corridors and chambers was ingeniously designed to protect and preserve the pharaoh's body and treasures for eternity. There are various theories about the purpose and significance of the pyramid's unique architectural features, including the ventilation shafts and the enigmatic king's chamber. The Great Pyramid's alignment with the cardinal points of the compass further adds to its mystery and significance. The theories about the pyramid's astronomical alignments are well known and highly connected to ancient Egyptian beliefs and rituals. Over the centuries, the Great Pyramid has captivated the imaginations of explorers, scholars, and enthusiasts. Its sheer size, mathematical precision, and enduring presence continue to inspire awe and wonder. The enduring fascination with this architectural masterpiece its influence on other pyramid constructions and its cultural and historical significance to ancient Egypt. Our next stop takes us to the ancient city of Babylon, where the hanging gardens once stood in all their verdant splendor. Regarded as one of the greatest marvels of the ancient world, the hanging gardens continue to captivate our imagination. As we step into the ancient city, we find ourselves surrounded by the bustling streets and remarkable architectural achievements of Babylon. But it is the hanging gardens that truly stand out, an oasis of lush greenery in the midst of a desert landscape. The gardens were said to have been built by King Nebuchadnezzar II as a gift to his wife, Queen Amidas. The construction of the gardens involved an incredible feat of engineering as they were built on elevated terraces to mimic the natural slopes of a mountain. This allowed the gardens to cascade down in a series of beautiful layers. The legends and theories surrounding the hanging gardens, as well as the techniques that may have been used to ensure a constant water supply, are still a mystery. Some believe that an ingenious irrigation system was employed to lift water from the Euphrates River to the gardens, using a network of canals, water wheels, and hydraulic engineering. The gardens were adorned with vibrant flowers, exotic plants, and towering trees, creating a mesmerizing sight for those who beheld them. Visitors would have marveled at the symphony of colors, scents, and sounds as they wandered through the terraces and pathways. While there are debates about the exact location and existence of the Hanging Gardens, the descriptions passed down through ancient texts paint a vivid picture of their magnificence. Explorers and archaeologists cannot miss the accounts of ancient historians, 
such as Herodotus and Strabo, piecing together the clues that shed light on this architectural wonder. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon symbolized the power and grandeur of the Babylonian Empire, and their beauty was renowned throughout the ancient world. The mysteries and allure of these extraordinary gardens, their cultural significance, and their enduring impact on subsequent garden designs are enough reasons to study this part of the ancient world. In Greece, we encounter the grandeur of the statue of Zeus at Olympia. Crafted by the renowned sculptor Phidias, this colossal statue served as a tribute to the king of the gods and stood as one of the most revered masterpieces of the ancient world. According to ancient descriptions, people at the time were immediately struck by its immense size and lifelike representation of Zeus. The statue stood approximately 43 feet tall and was crafted from a combination of gold and ivory with intricate details that brought the deity to life. Phidias, known for his exceptional craftsmanship, spent years meticulously sculpting the statue. Every muscle, fold of fabric, and facial feature was intricately designed to convey a sense of power, wisdom, and divine presence. The techniques used by Phidias to create such a magnificent work of art were unique and extremely advanced for that time. The statue sat on a magnificent throne adorned with precious gems and intricate carvings. The symbolism behind these decorative elements and how they enhance the overall splendor of the statue and the temple is still considered a mystery. The statue of Zeus became the centerpiece of the Temple of Zeus at Olympia, a sacred site that hosted the ancient Olympic Games. It was within this temple that the statue commanded reverence from worshippers and visitors alike. While the statue no longer exists, we'll rely on historical accounts and depictions to uncover its grandeur. Ancient writers described the statue's inspiring presence, noting the majesty that radiated from Zeus's eyes and the sense of divine power that permeated the temple. The statue of Zeus at Olympia held significant cultural and religious importance in ancient Greece. It attracted pilgrims from far and wide who sought to pay homage to Zeus, and it inspired awe and admiration in all who beheld it. The impact that the statue had on ancient Greek art and the enduring legacy of Phidias as a master sculptor was confirmed in the following centuries. Traveling to Ephesus, we discover the magnificent temple of Artemis, a sanctuary dedicated to the Greek goddess of hunting. This architectural masterpiece, considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, has a rich history and an enduring legacy. As we approach the temple, we are greeted by its grandeur and the immense scale of its columns. The Temple of Artemis was one of the largest Greek temples ever built, measuring approximately 425 feet long, 225 feet wide, and supported by over 100 towering columns. We'll explore the intricate details and architectural brilliance that adorn the temple. The columns, sculpted with intricate reliefs and adorned with vibrant paint, created a visually stunning sight. The distinctive features of the Ionic Order, which was prevalent in the temple's design, would be seen in many other buildings throughout ancient Greece. The Temple of Artemis was not only a religious sanctuary, but also a cultural center. It housed numerous works of art, statues, and valuable offerings from devotees. The sculptures and artistic representations associated with Artemis showcasing the reverence and devotion that surrounded her worship were an essential part of the temple. Sadly, the temple has experienced destruction and rebuilding throughout its history. It suffered damage from arson and multiple invasions. However, each time it was rebuilt, the magnificence of the temple persisted. The various construction phases and alterations that the temple underwent reveals the resilience and importance of this sacred site.
The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus attracted pilgrims and visitors from all corners of the ancient world. Its reputation as a center of worship and a marvel of architecture made it a prominent destination. The rituals and celebrations that took place within the temple meant how Artemis was powerful and a revered goddess in ancient Greece. Today, only fragments and archaeological remains stand as a testament to the once glorious temple of Artemis. However, its influence can still be felt in the art, literature, and cultural traditions of ancient Greece. The significance of this remarkable temple and all its mysteries yet to be unraveled make it an important piece of study in the history of ancient Greece and the ancient world. Our journey continues to Halicarnassus, where we find the Mausoleum, a monumental tomb dedicated to King Mausolus. This architectural marvel known as the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus stood as a testament to the wealth, power, and artistic brilliance of the time. As we approach the Mausoleum, we are greeted by its grandeur and complex design. It stood approximately 140 feet tall and was adorned with lavish sculptures, friezes, and decorative features. Greek and Persian architectural elements were blended in a unique artistic style that influenced and shaped the mausoleum's design. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus was a true masterpiece of ancient craftsmanship. Skilled artisans and sculptors were commissioned to create intricate reliefs and sculptures that adorned the structure. The themes depicted in these sculptures included mythological scenes, battles, and representations of the deceased. The mausoleum's exterior was adorned with detailed friezes that showcased the stories and achievements of King Mausolus. These ornate reliefs added a layer of storytelling and historical significance to the structure, revealed a multitude of tales with big cultural and symbolic significance. Inside the mausoleum, a grand burial chamber housed the remains of King Mausolus and his queen, Artemisia II. The chamber was adorned with opulent decorations, reflecting the royal status of those interred within. The place was revered and stage for burial practices and rituals that echoed throughout the territory. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus stood as a symbol of the power and wealth of the kingdom it represented. It attracted visitors and admirers from far and wide who marveled at its grandeur and craftsmanship, the impact that the mausoleum had on subsequent architectural styles and its enduring legacy in the history of monumental tombs is one of the main topics of study related to the mausoleum. Over time, the mausoleum faced destruction and its remains were scattered. Today, only fragments and archeological findings stand as a testament to its former glory. Nonetheless, the legacy of the mausoleum at Halicarnassus lives on, inspiring awe and admiration for the architectural achievements of the ancient world. Our journey takes us to the island of Rhodes, where we encounter the awe-inspiring Colossus, a colossal statue that once stood at the entrance of its harbor. This monumental sculpture, known as the Colossus of Rhodes, is a testament to the artistic and engineering achievements of the ancient world. As we approach the harbor, we can envision the grandeur of the Colossus, which stood approximately 110 feet tall. Created to honor the sun god Helios, this massive statue captured the imagination of all who beheld it. The legends and historical accounts surrounding the construction and design of this monumental masterpiece are numerous and great object of study these days. The Colossus of Rhodes was crafted from bronze and stood on a base made of white marble. Its gleaming bronze exterior would have reflected the sunlight, creating a stunning sight for approaching ships. The techniques and challenges involved in casting and erecting such a colossal sculpture are still a mystery for today's engineers. The statue showcased the skill and attention to detail of its sculptors. 
From the complex facial features to the flowing drapery, the Colossus exuded an air of grandeur and divine presence. The statue was filled with symbolism and artistic elements that reflected the beliefs and culture of ancient Rhodes. While the Colossus of Rhodes was an impressive sight, it sadly stood for only a relatively short time before being toppled by an earthquake. Its remains lay scattered at the harbor for centuries, serving as a testament to its former glory. There is still a lot of discussion regarding the theories surrounding its destruction and the eventual fate of its components. Despite its demise, the legacy of the Colossus of Rhodes lives on. It inspired wonder and admiration, becoming one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The influence of this iconic statue on subsequent art and architecture was notorious, as well as the enduring impact it had on the imagination of artists, poets, and travelers throughout history. Today, the Colossus of Rhodes stands as a symbol of the artistic and engineering achievements of ancient Rhodes. Its story continues to fascinate and captivate, reminding us of the grandeur and ambitions of the ancient world. Our final wonder takes us to the ancient city of Alexandria, where the Pharaoh's lighthouse once stood as a guiding beacon for sailors. This architectural marvel known as the Pharaohs of Alexandria was not only a lighthouse but also a symbol of progress and navigation in the ancient world. As we approach the coastal city, the towering structure of the Pharaohs comes into view. Rising approximately 330 feet, it was one of the tallest structures of the ancient world. The design and construction of this monumental lighthouse was remarkable containing astonishing engineering techniques to create such a towering structure. The Pharaohs was built by the renowned architect Sostratus of Kynos on the island of Pharaohs, strategically located at the entrance of Alexandria's harbor. It was an engineering marvel that allowed the lighthouse to withstand the elements and provide a guiding light for ships at sea. It was equipped with a system of mirrors and an open flame at its peak, which emitted a powerful light visible for miles. An advanced technology employed in its construction included the use of polished bronze reflectors that enhanced the light's visibility. The lighthouse not only served a practical function, but also symbolized the greatness of Alexandria as a center of knowledge and commerce. By attracting ships and visitors from across the ancient world, the Pharaohs was a symbol of the city's prosperity, trade, and cultural exchange center. Over the centuries, the Pharaohs faced numerous challenges, including earthquakes and erosion. It underwent repairs and modifications under different rulers, each adding their own touch to the structure. The historical accounts and archaeological findings that shed light on the evolution of the pharaohs throughout its existence are scarce and still subject to much research. Today, the pharaohs of Alexandria no longer stands, but its legacy remains. The symbolism of the lighthouse continues to inspire reverence and wonder, with many artistic representations and writings paying homage to its grandeur. The influence of the pharaohs on subsequent lighthouse designs is widely recognized, as well as its enduring impact on maritime navigation. Our exploration of the seven wonders of the ancient world draws to a close, leaving us in awe of the accomplishments of our ancestors. These extraordinary monuments continue to inspire wonder and admiration, reminding us of the incredible feats that were achieved in ancient times. Join us in celebrating these timeless wonders and stay tuned for more enlightening adventures into the history that shaped our societies over the ages. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content that uncovers the mysteries and secrets of our world.